I think at this point, you know, in eight years, people are finally beginning to break out of their personal identification with Obama, that they're finally able to maybe start looking at things that people have been saying about Obama for a very, very long time. I remember when I was younger, you know, eight, I would say almost six years ago, when I, whenever I had a criticism of Obama, you know, I was the odd man out. And a lot of times people didn't want to hear it. It said something was wrong with me, but, you know, I was able to see this many, many years ago. And now, you know, after all the damage is done, you know, people are starting to finally try to wake up to, to the reality that largely Obama's legacy is, is one that is not necessarily stellar. Like I can just go off the top of my head, you know, just some things off the top of my head without even really trying to do research. You know, he got in, he got up at the NAACP and he gave a speech and he started talking about his legacy. And I started thinking to myself, you know, what is his legacy? It's the same question I asked myself about Bill Clinton. What is Bill Clinton's legacy? But before that, let's stick to Obama. What is Obama's legacy? Is it ramping up the drone war? Is it going and accepting a Nobel Peace Prize and then invoking MLK's name to justify that ramping up of the drone war program and ramping up of military engagement around the world? Is it doing nothing to prevent homeowners who were defrauded by large banks and had their mortgages taken fraudulently? And then also the people who, you know, during the foreclosure crisis, the government could have made the banks take, uh, take hits on the valuations of those properties and renegotiate those mortgages, but they did nothing. So is it doing nothing to help homeowners struggling in the midst of a financial, uh, in the, uh, excuse me, I'm stuttering, struggling in the midst of a financial crisis when they're having problems with their mortgages? Is it appointing corporate operatives to his cabinet and allowing them to dole out favors to their friends during the financial crisis? Protecting, you know, billions of dollars in bonuses when, you know, a lot of those financial institutions had to be bailed out by the government? Is that his legacy? What about when he said he was going to put on his marching shoes and go out there and, and, and really get down on the ground and fight for unions and represent them? Is that a part of his legacy? What about every time he speaks to black people, he tends to lecture us and tell us how we need to do better and that you know we can't look for the government to do anything for us, that we are the source or the cause of our own suffering. Is that a part of his legacy? Or how sometimes he talks to us in a way that plays to the sensibilities of people who are under the influence of white supremacy both soft and hard. So there's a tendency for some people to be, you know, I would say vulnerable to a particular type of rhetoric. And, you know, I think that oftentimes when you talk to black people in a condescending or paternalistic way, you know, it's really not for that community. It's for another audience that he's kind of currying favor for to talk down to us. Is it cutting food stamps? Is the legacy cutting food stamps? Is his legacy proposing to cut Social Security? Is it expanding oil leases offshore and onshore at a record level, higher than any president before him? Is it how he, you know, campaigned saying that, you know, NAFTA needs to be renegotiated and that it was a bad deal for America, and then all of a sudden gets in and now he's not only doubled down on NAFTA, he completely ran away from doing anything with that, but now he's doubling down on pushing for the TPP? Is that supposed to be his shining legacy? I mean, is it a failure to end the mass surveillance? He spoke out against the Patriot Act and some of the more heinous provisions in the Patriot Act. But when he got in there, you know, the non-defense disclosure, uh, the NDA, he didn't fight that. He, he pushed it through. The CISA, he pushed that through as well. I mean, he didn't do anything to kind of curtail mass surveillance. I think the only thing he really did was when the revelations were made, he pushed to make sure that, you know, when Congress passed, uh, when Congress made the the NSA spying program, when they met, passed the authorization to make that uh, legal, that it was retroactive. That way he didn't have to necessarily punish any people that were doing the program while it was still illegal. He did double down on that. Is it him aggressively prosecuting whistleblowers? These are people who work for the government and expose you know, things that the government does that are both unlawful 
and unethical? Is it, is that a part of his legacy? I mean, what is Obama's legacy? Where are the highlights? I really don't see many. You know, even 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 the the slight glimmers of anything useful, they're they're tarnished by by just a lot of dirt. You know, I'm I'm not even a person that's going to defend the uh, the Affordable Care Act. You know, as it stands right now, it it really seems like that was some sort of patch that really accomplished nothing in the grand scheme, but it it still leaves us needing for meaningful action. If it was a real solution, we wouldn't be needing to renegotiate and redo and still be fighting to this day to actually get a real solution in place. I think that was just maybe, I don't know what that was, maybe like a bait and switch and misdirection, but it, it just seems like the Affordable Care Act is 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 change, but not necessarily progress. And, and I've made that point before. So, you know, I'm going to say this, and I'll, I'll let the viewers decide, but is it me or does Obama's legacy look like shit? And I'm not saying what he's done necessarily makes him worse than other presidents. I'm just saying that if you're really looking objectively at what was what was done in his presidency, it, it really wasn't necessarily a good thing. At best, he stewarded American empire, and he made no meaningful change whatsoever. And, and if that's a successful presidency, that's fine. But we voted for change. A lot of us wanted change. And so in that regard, it is an utter failure. And that's not even me talking about, uh, you know, how he deported millions of undocumented immigrants. I forgot to even mention that, see? And this is why I said it's off the top of my head. This is just me talking off the top of my head about what Obama's legacy is. So I'm gonna I'm gonna kind of shift away from that because it really kind of gets me worked up. So I'm gonna cool down a little bit. I want to talk about Elizabeth Warren. 